Welcome to CWS Christian Writing and Speaking. I'm your host, Jackie Wilson. And today's guest says his teachers thought he would never amount to anything, but God had other plans for him. From high school dropout to faith-driven entrepreneur, living a life of limitless possibilities, today's guest says he takes listeners on a wild ride, turning failures into freedom and having fun the entire journey. He said he believes the right words from the right person at the right time can change your life. And that's exactly why he has dedicated his life to having meaningful conversations at scale. His core values are faith, family, fitness, and finances. He believes God gave us talents and we must use them to make the world a better place. And that is why he built the podcast factory. And every day he is inspiring, entertaining, and influencing listeners to live their life with infinite fulfillment. Let's welcome to the CWS stage, Mr. J.R. Rivera. Jackie, thank you. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I think you know more about me than I know. I'm like, what? (laughs) Where did you get all that? (laughs) Of course, I don't know um, everything about you, but I know our audience is excited to learn more about your journey. Because when you hear about somebody who who is a high school dropout, automatically a lot of people think of statistic. And then it's like, oh, he just fits the statistics. And but then there's a switch and it's like, but God got a hold and he changed your life around. What is your story, JR? My story is one of being lucky. And I say I'm lucky because I some people say I was a rebel in uh in school, but I was really a reject. I, I was on the outside of everything that was going on. And I rejected everything they were teaching me in school. And it's quite simply because that system didn't work for me. That antiquated, we're bringing these kids up to be factory workers, cogs in the machine, that didn't suit me. And so I'm, I'm grateful that I rejected that. And I'm, I'm grateful that my parents planted the seeds of virtue in me. And even though I, I separated from God the Father, for a while. He was always in my heart. Uh, so I, I'm lucky that those seeds were planted early and I'm lucky that uh, they were nurtured later on. And and it wasn't just like, Hey, I'm, I'm coming back to God, but it was things happening in life and asking questions. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is there more for me out there? What else can I be doing? And, and always asking those questions and always trying to find the truth find the light and find the answers, put me on the right path to, to where we are today. Well, the biggest thing that, that happened, Jackie was, uh, what, over 20 years ago now, uh, my mom died Mm. and, uh, it was unexpected and, uh, it was, uh, a traumatic experience. She took her own life. And what was weird about it was everybody knew my mom is a smiling lady. She was happy. And, and we're seeing this a lot more today. It's it's more common that these people put on this facade of who they the, the world wants them to be uh, or who they think they should be, um, but inside they're dealing with turmoil. Mm. And so that was a, a moment, a defining moment, where I had to make a choice. There, there's a crossroads, and you either say, God... Why did you do this to me? And you take that victim mentality and start going down that road and separating yourself. Or you take the other path. God, what are you trying to teach me? What am I supposed to learn from this? And fortunately, my dad practiced faith. And he's like, come on, let's go to the church. Uh, let's and, and let's just go get some answers. Let's go get, I like to say, let's go get some God. Uh, and And... I, I chose that path and I went with my father and we looked for answers. And and the answer that I came up with, Jackie, is, is kind of weird. It was a final lesson she was teaching me. If you're not happy with who you are, if you're not happy with where your life is, this is a wake up call to do something differently. And I did. I was a blue collar worker. Then I went into real estate, uh, made a lot of money, lost even more. And then built my my business online. And now I have multiple businesses with my wife, whom I lovingly refer to as Cupcake. 
I love it. You know, oftentimes we feel like we never find those answers, but I love what you've done. And I definitely know that that has integrated into what it is that you do today. Tell people about the podcast factor. Well, like you said in the intro, we've all had these moments. I mean, if we're trying, right? If, if we want more, we've had these moments, whether it's reading a book, listening to our pastor, um, taking a course, listening to a podcast where we hear somebody say something and the light bulb flashes. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden we realize, oh, here's what I've been missing all this time. And it totally changes the trajectory of our lives. And so that's really my purpose. And what I get out of bed for is the, the right words from the right person at the right time can change a life. And the way that I'm doing that is through my work at the podcast factory. And this was something that I struggled with even a few years ago was just asking God, what am I supposed to be doing? What do you want me to do? Work through my hands. Help me to bring your light and your glory to the world. What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? And I realized this is my ministry. It's the work that I do through me and you having this conversation. We might light up somebody's life through the hosts whom we help share their messages out there. We might bring some light. We might change somebody's direction. We might pull somebody off the cliff. Uh, we might change something. So every day I get out of bed to have conversations or to help people hear inspiring, uplifting, positive messages to bring the light into their lives. I love it. I love it. Besides the podcast factory, what else are you doing? I like to joke that I do as little as possible. <laughs> so you, you talked about my pillars, my pillars of purpose. And the one that went first is faith. And this was something that I had to learn was God first, mm -hmm. spiritual time first, my Bible first in the day, my rosary first. And then it gives me energy to pour into my family breakfast with the family, boy goes to school, have some time with cupcake, and then fitness. I got to take care of my temple so that I show up strong for the finances, so that I can take care of my business, so I can serve my clients, so I can serve our listeners today. And so everything that I do today is about getting those right words to the right people at the right time. And it might be this message here, it might be something else that we're airing or another interview, but this is the main focus of my life is sharing and I call it light, God's light, leadership in good and hard times. Mm -hmm. It's an acronym, sharing the light and helping, because as we know, we read the Bible, uh, the light dissipates the dark. And so this is yeah. what I'm doing with what I've been given to make this world a better place. And so, yeah, we have this, we have the podcast factory, we own real estate, we have rentals, we have e-commerce business tr trying to get off the ground. It's very painful, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have a couple other businesses, but really, my focus is about these conversations and bringing the light. Yeah, I love it. What's next for you, JR? Well, I was lucky enough in 2019, maybe, right right before or right at the, the beginning of COVID. Um, I went to, I, I used to be a strategic coach and uh, I got taken through an exercise where we put ourselves in the future mm -hmm. 10 years. And then we looked back and, you know, we, we had all the aspirations. Mine was giving more, uh, helping more people get the light, being a better family man, be, being a, a better steward. Uh, so you, you paint that picture and then you look back and you kind of build the path. And, and what I realize is that what's next for me is taking this to the next level. And so that's why we're obsessed this year at the Podcast Factory. We're obsessed with helping all our clients grow, helping all our clients reach more people because we're, we're handpicking the people that we work with. Mm -hmm. We're handpicking people who have similar values to us. And it is our duty to get those conversations into more ears. Like the prayer you said right before we got on the air was get this conversation to the right person who needs it right now. And not only that, let them do something with it, let them share it. And so for me, it's taking these conversations, taking this positivity, taking this goodness to the next level. Uh, on top of that, it's being more generous. I have a lifelong goal of being more generous. I gave more last year 
than I have any other year to the church, to other charities. I will give more every year. That That's what I'm going to do. And I will keep pushing good, positive messages every chance I get, because I want to be helping a million people a month get the light. Yeah, I love it. How can people connect with you? You can find me on on the social on, on the social medias at Riverathan R I B E R A T H A N. That's uh, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere. Uh, that's my social, and then uh, the website is thepodcastfactory dot com. All right, thank you. As we wrap up your interview, Jr. What is it that you want people to take away with them? The thing that you feel like they can implement into their life today? Uh, twofold, twofold. Uh, talk less, listen more, because the answers are all around you. And this goes even in prayer. I, I often sit right back here and pray in the morning. And when I just get quiet, answers appear as if out of nowhere, but we know where they came from. So uh, talk less, listen more is one. A and the second one, and nothing happens without this, is take action. Do something. Don't just get the answer and sit there. Do something with it. Yeah, I love it. CWS audience, you have heard him. It's time to take action. This is the year um, to make it a reality. That's my personal theme for the year is make it a reality. Listen, be quiet, listen, let God speak to you. And when he speaks, it is your turn to take action. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. And until next time, beautiful people, God bless. <laughs>